Ikigai, The Japanese Secret to a Long and Happy Life by Francesque Miralles and Hector Garcia. This summary is brought to you by Hook My Book. The book is about two authors who first met in Tokyo and started talking about the different schools of psychology and personal development. They eventually started talking about the concept of Ikigai and how it relates to the Japanese people's longevity. The book then goes on to explore Ajumai, a small town in Okinawa, where the residents have the highest life expectancy in the world. The authors learn that Ikigai is a powerful motivator and that it is important for people to find their own purpose in life. The Japanese believe that everyone has an Ikigai. Ikigai can be broken down into words. These are, to be worthwhile, and beautiful. This book is about helping people find their Ikigai and live fulfilling life. The Japanese say, Hara Hachi Biyu, which means, fill your belly to 80%, in order to avoid overeating. The ancient wisdom advises against eating until we are full and this is why Okinawans stop eating when they feel their stomachs reach 80%. The lesson to learn from this saying is to stop eating when you are starting to feel full. The extra side dish, the snack we eat when we know in our hearts we don't really need it, the apple pie after lunch will all give us pleasure in the short term but not having them will make us happier in the long term. The way food is served in Japan is also important. By presenting their meals on many small plates, the Japanese tend to eat less and this is one of the reasons why Westerners in Japan typically lose weight and stay trim. There is a tension between what is good for someone and what they want to do. This is because people, especially older people, like to do things as they've always done them. The problem is that when the brain develops ingrained habits, it doesn't need to think anymore. Things get done quickly and efficiently on automatic pilot, often in a very advantageous way. This creates a tendency to stick to routines, and the only way of breaking these is to confront the brain with new information. Our brains need to be exercised in order to stay in shape, and mental exercise can also be done by engaging in activities such as playing games and engaging in conversations. Mental exercise can also be done by learning new things, and having a positive outlook can have positive mental effects. Many people seem older than they are. Research into the causes of premature aging has shown that stress has a lot to do with it, because the body wears down much faster during periods of crisis. Stress is something that happens when you're faced with a situation that's unexpected. It's a natural response to help you survive, but it can have a negative effect over time if you're constantly stressed. Stress is an easily identifiable condition that can have a big impact on our health. It can cause anxiety, which can lead to a whole slew of physical and mental health issues. However, there are ways to reduce stress and improve your health. One way is through mindfulness, which is a gradual process of training your mind to be fully aware of your surroundings and your reactions. A healthy lifestyle that includes exercise and a balanced diet is also important. The author says that humans inherently have a, why to live for, and that this purpose is what provides a sense of purpose and direction in life. He argues that when this purpose is thwarted or when people are constantly faced with challenges they do not understand, this can lead to a sense of existential angst or frustration. However, this angst can be a catalyst for personal growth and change if individuals are able to find meaning in their life through their struggles. Flow is a state of complete immersion in an activity where you lose yourself and become focused on the present. When you are in flow, you are focused on a concrete task and your mind is, in order. This state is often found in athletes, creative professionals, and those who are performing an activity for its own sake. To experience flow, you need to be able to focus on the task at hand, know how to do it, and be comfortable with the level of difficulty. The task should be challenging, but not too difficult, and you should be able to see how your skills are improving. In addition, you should be free from distractions so you can fully focus on the task at hand. The Japanese people are known for their dedication and hard work, but they also have a unique ability to be completely absorbed in a task. For example, a takumi is a person who is very good at making a specific type of screw by hand, and they are very important to Toyota. 
Toyota also has a tradition of preserving artisanal traditions and techniques, as seen in their production of turntable needles and makeup brushes. The author discusses how Ikigai relates to the Japanese art of takumi or flow. He explains that while some people may find retirement difficult if they are passionate about what they do. For Japanese artists such as Hayao Miyazaki, retirement is simply a continuation of their art form. Miyazaki is able to remain connected to his art even as he slows down his production schedule, and his colleagues are able to appreciate his work even more fully because they understand his dedication to Takumi. I in Japan, when someone, whether an artist, an engineer or a chef, sets out to create something, his or her responsibility is to use nature to give it life while respecting that nature at every moment. People have different ikigais, which are passions or interests that bring them joy and fulfillment. These people are able to protect their time by focusing on their ikigais and not letting anything else distract them. Recluses are artists and scientists who have found a way to protect their time and flow in their work to the point where they don't let anything else get in the way of their enjoyment. Bill Gates washes dishes every night because it helps him relax and clear his mind, and Richard Feynman dedicated himself to painting the office walls because he didn't have anything important to do. Meditation can help you find a state of flow, which is a state of complete focus and concentration. When you're in a state of flow, your focus is completely on the task at hand and you're not worried about anything else. Activities that make you flow usually involve movement or creativity, and they usually involve others. Once you find your ikigai, or the activity that is most important to you, you'll be able to spend more time in flow and achieve more happiness. This author discusses the life philosophies of a few supercentenarians and how they've managed to live a long, healthy life. Supercentenarians are people who live to 110 years or more. Some of the supercentenarians interviewed include Maseo Okawa, Maria Capovilla, Jean Calment, and Walter Brenning. Each of these individuals shares unique life philosophies that have contributed to their long and healthy lives. For example, Maria Capovilla lived a healthy and active lifestyle without consuming meat, Jean Calment kept her mind and body busy, and Walter Brenning embraced helping others and wasn't afraid to die. These life philosophies have helped these supercentenarians live long, healthy lives. Ajumai is a small town in Okinawa, Japan, that is known for its exceptionally long-living population. The town is home to nearly 300 residents who are over the age of 80. Ajumai is also home to the village of Longevity, a community founded by the town's residents to help one another live a longer life. Ajumai's communal life revolves around its community centers, which are located throughout the town. Ajumai's residents enjoy a rich social life that revolves around community activities. The interviewees in the book have all lived long and healthy lives by living their ikigai. Some of the things they emphasize include spending time with friends, eating well, and being optimistic. The advice is to live every day as if it is your last, to slow down and enjoy the small things, and to never forget to smile. One thing that everyone with a clearly defined ikigai has in common is that they pursue their passion no matter what. They never give up, even when the cards seem stacked against them or they face one hurdle after another. The Okinawa long-living residents believe that our ikigai, purpose or meaning in life, is different for each person, but that it is important to find something we are passionate about and to stay busy doing things we love. They suggest that we should not worry too much about finding our ikigai and that it is more important to live life in the present moment and to be surrounded by good friends. Finally, they advise us to follow our intuition and to smile often.